sort of like getting caught up in a whirlwind. We went through, in a nutshell, the uh, financial and emotional depression that uh, follows lead poisoning. Once we found out that we poisoned the whole family, we had to find out how to do this right. It's completely changed my work. I can't bid on a job in an old house without including precautions for lead paint. One, so I don't bring it home to my family. My family doesn't need it. We've already been through that. The occupants of the building I'm working on don't need it either. Katie, do you have a floor? I know what they're going to go through, and nobody should have to go through that. Mom, you have pen? Fish. Primarily boils down to a few very simple things. One, don't make a mess. Two, if you do make a mess, make it in as small as an area as possible, containment. Um, three, when you make a mess, clean it up. Cl and clean it up completely. It's not broom clean. It's not shop vac clean. It's the same cleaning as if you took your car and to have it detailed. So they know that by doing things the traditional way, they poison kids. They know there's enough evidence available now that renovation poisons kids. There's enough evidence that some maintenance jobs create enough of a hazard to poison kids. This is, yes, something we need to change.